organisms going extinct is nothing new if we see our evolutionary history but on some very rare occasions some organisms become past tense way faster than the world was ready for. Such sudden departure from the ecosystem causes a lot of problems for all life as it tips the perfect balance established by nature in favour of the grim reaper. No species in our history was able to survive such a level of mass extinction, even the mighty T-Rex couldn't escape. But there's one plant which against all odds came back from the clutches of death itself, despite being the victim of one of the most brutal fungus on the planet. Hey, welcome to the Black Phoenix, and today we're going to talk about the luckiest plant ever to exist on the planet Earth, and why did we actively aid its survival. The American chestnut, Castania dentata, is a large deciduous tree of the beech family, native to the eastern North America. The American chestnut is one of the most important forest trees throughout its range and was considered the finest chestnut tree in the world. More than a century ago, nearly 4 billion American chestnut trees were growing in the eastern US. They were among the tallest largest and fastest growing trees. The wood was rot resistant, straight grained and suitable for furniture, fencing and building. The nuts fed billions of wildlife, people and their livestock. It was almost a perfect tree, that is, until a blight fungus wreaked havoc that is still unprecedented to this day. In just a matter of months, the trees started dying out at a rapidly dangerous rate. The blight was so catastrophic that it is called the greatest ecological disaster to strike the world's forest in all of history. The species was devastated by chestnut blight, a fungal disease that came from Asian chestnut trees introduced into North America. It is estimated that between 3 and 4 billion American chestnut trees were destroyed in the first half of the 20th century by chestnut blight after the blight's initial discovery in North America in 1904. The American chestnut tree survived all adversaries for 40 million years, then disappeared within 40. The situation was of national importance and was headlined in the New York Times in 1908, titled, All the chestnut trees in the United States are doomed to destruction. In just a few years, the chestnut blight had killed thousands of the valuable timber trees, an economic loss of 5 to 10 million dollars. It was the most rapid and destructive fungus known to the world, according to the Times. The pathogen had traveled over the oceans on shipments of imported Japanese chestnut trees. The Asian trees were blight resistant, but the fungus spread unchecked among the defenseless American trees. People tried all sorts of things to stop the spread, spraying with various chemicals that had worked on other pests, even cutting down mile-wide swaths of trees as a sort of firebreak against the fungus. But sadly, it made no difference, as the trees fell to their death all the same. That was when serious efforts in saving this tree kicked in. Scientists from North America started a new conservation project to save this species of chestnut tree. The solution was right in front of us, says Lisa Thompson, president of the American Chestnut Foundation. Using the resistance capabilities of Chinese trees against blight and transferring that trade into American trees through a breeding program. The program had great success and slowly the numbers of chestnut trees started to rise just above the extinction line. With the success of this method, several groups are attempting to create blight resistant American chestnuts. Scientists at the SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry created the Darling 58 cultivar of American chestnut by inserting the oxalate oxidase gene from wheat into the genome of an American chestnut. When expressed in the cambium of the Darling 58 cultivar, oxalate oxidase detoxifies oxalic acid, resulting in a tree that still gets infected by the blight but that resists girdling of the trunk and survives such infection. As of 2021, the researchers who developed this cultivar are working towards applying for government permission to make these trees available to the public. If approved, 
these chestnut trees would be the first genetically modified forest trees released into the wild in the United States. Crossbreeding of chestnut species represents an alternate approach to restoring the American chestnut. One approach has been crossbreeding among different partially blight resistant American chestnuts with the goal of developing a cultivar with high resistance. Another approach is to crossbreed American chestnuts with Chinese chestnut trees which are moderately blight resistant and then to backcross with American chestnuts with the goal of creating a cultivar with most of the genetic heritage of American for retaining the blight resistance of the Chinese chestnut. Bringing back the chestnut tree was a high priority because this one tree was able to fulfill so many aspects of human life that it was almost a necessity to have this tree. The American chestnut tree was an essential component of the entire eastern US ecosystem. A late flowering, reliable and productive tree, unaffected by seasonal frosts, it was the single most important food source for a wide variety of wildlife from bears to birds. Rural communities depended upon the annual nut harvest as a cash crop to feed livestock. The chestnut lumber industry was a major sector of rural economies. Chestnut wood is what I call business wood. It is straight grained and easily worked lightweight and highly rot resistant, making it ideal for fence posts, railroad ties, barn beams and home construction, as well as for fine furniture and musical instruments. Their fruit is consumed in a variety of ways, from flavouring sprinklers to fruit salads. People love them all the same. The outer layer of the fruit can be peeled and consumed raw, but it can be a bit bitter, especially if the pellicle is not removed. The fruit can also be roasted and eaten, where peeling is really not necessary. After the cooking process of the fruit, it will look like a baked potato with a delicate, sweet and nutty flavour. As far as nuts are concerned, there are several ways to consume them. It can be candied, boiled, steamed, deep fried, grilled or roasted in sweet or savoury recipes. In addition, they are also used to stuff vegetables, poultry, fowl, and other edibles. Some recipes that have received a lot of attention are puree chestnuts in a blender and add to warm crepes or pancakes. Roast chestnuts and use them instead of cortons on a salad. Sprinkle chopped roasted chestnuts on baked acorn or butternut squash. While planting this tree, it's important to begin early in the spring. The tree grows best when American chestnut tree nuts are sown directly into the ground, with the flat side or sprout facing down half an inch to an inch deep, as soon as the soil is workable. Pure varieties have an extremely high germination rate and should grow fine this way. Some hybrids don't germinate as well and can be started indoors by planting the nuts as early as January in pots at least 12 inches deep. The fibre in chestnuts can also help balance your blood sugar. Eating high fibre foods ensure your body slowly absorbs starches. This helps avoid spikes in blood sugar which can be dangerous for people with diabetes. Plus chestnuts have a low glycemic index value of 54. Foods rated lower on the glycemic index won't cause major changes to your blood sugar levels when you eat them. Chestnuts can also improve your digestion. These nuts are a good source of fiber which helps keep you regular and supports the growth of healthy bacteria in your gut. Chestnuts are also gluten free which makes them a healthy choice for people with celiac disease. Chestnuts stand out from other edible nuts for their distinctive nutrition profile. They are exceptionally rich in vitamin C. 100 gram of nuts provide 43 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin C is required for matrix formation in teeth, bones and blood vessels. Being a strong antioxidant, it offers protection from harmful free radicals. Given such enormous health, household, agricultural and economical benefits, it's not a wonder why we made such huge efforts in aiding the survival of this incredible plant. This plant has outlasted disease, droughts, degradation and time and has given a new meaning to survival, becoming immortal in the face of death. Due to your enormous love and support on our channel, we decided to make a new community around what we do 
and would love to give you guys more exclusive access to our content. We are pleased to announce our new membership plans for you guys in which we offer loyalty badges, shoutouts and exclusive additions in our videos and much more. But for that we would need your support so please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you in the next one.